Do your desires call you? If you are up to speed with the desire, which you never are in the beginning of its hatching, then it's inviting, it's invigorating, it's fun to think about. But if you have wanted something for a while, and for whatever reason, you have not managed to be a consistent vibrational match to your own desire. In other words, you don't believe it. You want it, but you don't believe it. And what most do not understand is that you can do something about that doubt without the manifestation occurring. Most people don't get that. Most people think that in order for doubt to go away, what they want has to show up. I'll believe it when I see it. But we want you to understand that if you're counting on waiting for it to show up before you give it your undivided vibrational attention, not only are you slowing things way, way, way down, but you're mostly noticing the success of other people, not yourself. You can see all kinds of things you want evidenced or manifested in the experience of others, but for them to be evidenced in your experience, you have to be a vibrational match to them. So we like to explain to you that you are a vibrational being in a vibrational universe and that you're going to want to become aware of your vibration. And most humans, especially in the beginning, they don't know what that means. They don't get what that means. They don't really want to know what that means because you are accustomed to your world in the way you are accustomed to seeing it. You like to see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it. You like to translate your vibrational world into what you call real life manifestation. And we want that for you too, but we want to show you how to do it in a consistent way. And before you can get good at being consistent about it, you got to understand that you are vibration first and foremost, and so is everyone else, but you've got to begin to use your emotional guidance system in order to know moment by moment, what your vibrational condition is. When you are observing current reality, you're practicing the vibration of what is, which means it can't change, not much and certainly not fast. So. We want you to know that you were source energy before you came into these bodies. And even though you are now in these physical bodies, the larger part of you is still that source energy perspective. You sometimes call that soul. Humans want to call that God. We want to call it your inner being, but it's who you really are, who you were before you came into this body. You still are not in this body while you are in this body. Most of you. You're in this body. So there is a vibrational relationship between where you came from, but better said who you now really are, who you are as a result of all that you've been living. So life causes you to expand when you know what you don't want, you know what you do want. And every time you have one of those conscious or even unconscious things happen. Every time you live a little bit of life where something unwanted is experienced by you, its preference is naturally born out of you. It's just the logics of this perfectly balanced, contrasting, leading edge, time space reality into which you are deliberately focused. And as these rockets of desires emanate from you, the larger part of you, the inner being part of you, the non-physical energy part of you becomes the vibrational fullness of everything that you ask. In other words, you're amending who you are. You're expanding and evolving all day long. And every single emotion that you feel is about the relationship between your habit of thought, your beliefs, a belief is just a thought that you continue to think your habit of thought and the habit of thought of the source within you. So source within you knows your value. If you do, you feel great about yourself. Source within you loves you and everyone else. If you do, then you feel wonderful in this moment. But if you find fault with yourself or someone else in the moment of that fault finding that negative emotion that you feel, which you try to justify, but you can't really is your indication that you are cross current of who you really are and what you really know. And so what we want you to understand is that there is not a truth about anything. There is a perception that you hold that has the potential 
of being a vibrational match to the perception of the source within you who has been living with you expanding with you knowing with you who is in perfect concert with all that is good there's that perspective and there's your perspective and you can tell by the way you feel how well you're matching up in the moment now sometimes that's a little bit uncomfortable to hear because it makes you feel wrong but that's a flaw in your own premise because the source within you never wants you or sees you as wrong but when you decide that you are you get cross current of that vibration and then off you go pinched off from this stream of consciousness from this stream of well-being that is showering down upon you flowing to you and through you at all times so you are an extension of source energy here with very important reason for being here you said I will explore this leading edge variety and from it will come expansion expansion in my idea of what is wanted and we said and we will ride your rocket of desire and we will hold the signal of it constant so that you can find your way back to it so that's the cycle you come into this physical body you are pure positive energy you explore you define you refine and you request more and usually in the requesting of more you're not up to speed with it yet you've requested more but you've still got your vibrational patterns going where you've practiced them we want you to realize that you can practice your vibrational frequency into harmony with your own desires that you have created a vibrational reality that is real it's present tense it does exist and that vibrational reality has gathered all cooperative components and is revealing to you a steady message about what the next logical step for you is to get you from where you are to where you want to be that's the thing we want you to hear first and foremost your inner being knows where you are in your physical format in your physical personality with the beliefs that you hold in relationship with everything you want with your veritable fortunes of relationships and financial well-being and all other manner of desires that you have magnificently and precisely carved out of this physical life experience and so if you can accept that you are vibrational and if you can accept that your emotions are telling you what your relationship is not just with who you are and all that you've become but with everything that you want because when you ask for something step one it is given step two vibrationally you go ah uh, uh, vibrationally I don't want it vibrational how do I get my money out of the vortex and into the bank <laughs> and we say you figure out how to turn your thoughts to things you try to figure out how to turn your vibrations to thoughts and your thoughts to impulses and your impulses to actions and your actions to the full receiving of all things wanted we want you to discover that in your happiness it is a sure fire path to everything that you want but you've got to get your priorities straight you've got to figure out that you are vibrational you've got to figure out that how you feel matters and then you've got to do something about consistently taking care of the way you feel that's because law of attraction is responding to where you are look at where you are with a little less definition talk a little less about what you don't like about where you are lose your law of attraction grip on standing where you don't want to be lighten up go general look for more things that do feel good because in every moment even though there may be some things that don't feel so good there are some things that feel better look for the best feeling things that you can find and it is our promise to you that little by little you will change the way you are offering your vibration you will change what you are broadcasting and that's really what we want you to hear from us first and foremost today what you broadcast which means what you think about and what you focus on and what you talk about what you're broadcasting is what is accomplishing your vibrational attitude it's what your point of attraction really is all about and what you're broadcasting and what is coming back to you in response to that broadcast is how you create your own reality so even though you are standing in the middle of something unwanted you have to figure out how to broadcast something differently 
you've got to figure out how to find a way of saying it nicer saying it a way that it's kinder to you beating up on yourself less beating up on other people less being less critical more appreciative but you got to do it a little bit at a time because law of attraction is your best friend because law of attraction is consistent law of attraction is always reflecting back to you what you got going on there are two ways for you to know what you've got going on vibrationally in other words what the mix is between who you really are and who you're being in any moment how wide or narrow that gap is that vibrational frequency gap between who you want to be and all the desires that you have already established and created and what you're letting in right now there are two ways to know one is by how you feel right now this red hot minute and the other is by what's manifesting back to you they always match what you think and how you feel always matches and what you think and what comes back to you always matches now we know it feels like you've been influenced by others and it feels like a lot of what you're feeling is in response to what others are doing but you gotta stop letting that be your excuse for sloppy thinking you gotta let that no longer be your excuse for offering vibrations that don't serve you that don't serve anybody and most of all keep you split apart from who you really are so there are three steps to the creative process step one is ask and life causes you to do that all day every day step two is source answers and by that we mean a vibrational reality is assembled with all of the components with every single one of them that is important to you because you've been making those requests spoken and unspoken all of the days of this physical experience and even before you came into this physical body you've been requesting this well-being this abundance this clarity this vitality this flexibility this understanding this knowing this love this appreciation this abundance this well-being you've been requesting it in all kinds of forms all of your existence which is longer than we have time to even begin to explain to you it's a big vortex it would keep you busy for 20 or 30 lifetimes it's huge and it's there for you and it's revealing itself to you all day every day in the form of a vibration that you if you are human mostly are not hearing you keep asking for the revelations even though the revelations are constantly coming because the source within you knows where you are knows who you are knows what you want knows where you are in relationship to what you want and it's giving you all day feedback about where to go and where to focus and where to look in this vast universe in which you are focused it is a magical wonderful place and you have guidance a cadre of non-physical energy at your back pointing in the direction of everything you want all day every day no exceptions no exceptions no exceptions but the question is are you now while the broadcast is happening in the receptive mode are you in the frequency where you can hear if you've got your tuner set on 101 a.m and what's being broadcast is on 97.7 FM the frequencies aren't matching up and you're not hearing the broadcast and so what we want you to understand is in order for you to hear in order for you to realize in order for you to be in the receptive mode of what's being broadcast you got to be feeling pretty good and when you are in despair on your knees praying for recovery or praying for improvement even though your prayers are being answered everything is lined up you cannot hear you won't receive the impulse and you'll wonder what's going on and we want you to know the only thing that's going on is that you're out of frequency and it doesn't need to be that way so I figured out that I gotta get my vibrational frequency in alignment with what I'm asking for <laughs> I had to practice my beliefs into vibrational alignment with the things that are in my vortex.